welcome back to the plot. It's potato day. And you know what? I am no dig. However, I will be digging trenches for these potatoes. I'm going to be putting three trenches here with the minimal amount of disturbance possible. I know that's a bit of a contradiction in terms. However, I just feel that when you're, if you're doing no dig potato, fine, you can put it in. But you've got to get it back out again. Which, to get all the potatoes out, you've got to dig them out. So I just find it um, a little bit pointless, to be honest, doing that. But anyway, every, each to their own. Everyone likes their own methods. So yeah, I've got three different varieties to go in the ground. And I'm also going to put in some in bags as well. So I've got a first early, which is Casablanca. I've got a second early, which is um, Harry. And I've got the main crop, which is Cara. And literally going to be doing three rows of these here. And then I've got some of my own saved seed potatoes um, from last year, which are Maris Piper or Maris Pier. I can't remember. They were going in bags. Let's wait for the uh, tractor to go past. <laughs> Hopefully you can still hear me, but yeah, I'll show you. The I'll show you planting in the bags later on. I'll go through that later on with you. All right, let's get on with it. So, that's why I don't do no dig. <laughs> yeah, but this I think is going to be the best, best method of me for the spuds for this year. So, as you can see, I've done three trenches here. I'm going to put a bud, bit of uh, blood fish and bone in the trenches. And I've got 10 of each uh, seed potato. I'm going to space them out. They're going to go probably about 30 centimetres down. Um, yeah, that's it. Let's get on with it and then we'll crack on with the ones in the bags. So these are the first earlies, I'll show you. They've chitted quite nicely. And these are Casablanca, so they'll be going down there. So they are about 40 centimetres spacing. Um, so they're going to go about 30, 30 centimetres down-ish. Not exact here. It'll be all good. Uh, but I just need to go get a trowel and get them in.
So, dug over, label them up. Uh, I've got these cute little slate labels that I ordered online. I think they're from eBay or Amazon or something like that. Cute. So I'm going to pop them in, just to remind myself. These were actually inspired by um, from Sarah. She, know, she sows, she grows. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. She's um, was looking at sustainable plant labels, you know, instead of the plastic, which obviously um, degrades when you put them outside and things like that. So I think she was using bamboo and things like that. So I had a little look and thought, oh, quite fancy slate. So there we go, let's pop them in. So, in the absence of any suitable seating, I'm sat on a bag of, well, a stack of compost bags. So, I'm going to grow some potatoes in um, containers this year, but I wanted to find a, um, a bit more of an eco-friendly solution. You know, a lot of people grow their potatoes in buckets, which is fine. Um, the, but I just thought, do I really want to have more plastic on the plot? So, I was just searching through and just browsing through Instagram and the internet as you do and I stumbled across this company called Simple Life Eco and I really like their ethos and um, they have got these fantastic felt grow bags now these so, yeah, are these actually, are going to be uh, an ideal alternative to uh, using the plastic buckets that a lot of people use because I thought yeah I really like the ethos behind the company so I contacted um, Simple Life Eco and I just had a little chat with uh, Beth, who uh, is the director of the company, and said, look, I really like your product. And she very, very kindly sent me six bags to try. So I will put a link in the description. And uh, yeah, I think go and have a look at their, uh, their website. They do fantastic things on there. And uh, I just think it's really uh, important to support for small businesses as well and this business is both based in Wales and it's doing fantastically well and the other thing I really liked about them was for every purchase that you make they actually plant a tree as well so fantastic go and have a look at their uh, website and let's get planting some potatoes okay so I'm going to fill this bag well I'm going to put a bit in the bottom here now and these are uh, these are my saved potato seeds from last year. Got some good chicks on them there. These are Maris Pierce that are second early. Anyway, so I'm going to do two layers. Probably going to put two of these in the first layer, and another two in the second layer, and then fill it up. Right, crack on. So I've put that. I'd say about 10 centimetres of compost in the bottom there. And I'm just going to sprinkle a blood fish and bone, a bit of tickle, and then got some really nice chitted potatoes. And put two, one side that's one side that side. Get some more compost. A bit windy again today. Get out of the way. Got about 15 centimetres on top of that. A bit more blood fish and bone. And then I'm gonna put Two more in, but in the, so the other ones were that way, and I'm going to put these ones the opposite way. There. And then I'm going to just going to fill it up, not right to the top, because you want to leave space for some water in. And these, because these are determinate potatoes, they're second early, so they'll grow all on one level, so they don't need earthing up.
There we go. Last one done. Let's get on with the rest. So the bags are done. Let me show you what I've done and where I've positioned them. So I've just popped them along here. So that's where the uh, potato bed is that you saw earlier. And yeah, I've done four bags and these are all Maris Pierce second earlies. So I've just left a bit of room in the top just in case I do want to top them up a little bit. And um, obviously just for watering. They probably won't stay there because they're on the path, but once I get this sorted out, I'm probably going to have a little bit of space here. And once I get this barked, I'll have a little bit of space there. So they might just sort of go dotted in these four corners, I'm thinking. Yeah, it's another job ticked off, isn't it? So, potatoes are in. What are you growing this year? Let me know in the comments below. As I say, I've got the uh, Harry's there's a second early, Casablanca first early, and the Cara main crop all in the ground. And then I've got these Maris Pier second earlies in the containers. They're just a bit of an experiment, actually, because they are from my own um, saved potato seed from last year, the Maris Pier. So well, let's see what happens um, in them bags. Let me know what you're growing and comment below. That's it for now. Um, if you are enjoying the channel please don't forget to give me a like it really helps my channel grow if you the more people like and comment on the channel it really does help me and if you are um, interested in subscribing please do so it's free of charge I'll see you very soon and don't forget I'll be doing the starting the polytunnel build probably next episode see you later